So over here, you can see that I have some storyboard panels right here. And especially if you're working around in a big project, you might want to add in something called markers to, do, uh, to remind you to edit out something in the future or if you are sharing out the file with other team members. So to add in marker, once you go around onto the timeline area right here, so you have to be on the timeline mode for this. So you can go around and in order to add in a marker, you can right click. And over here, you can see add marker is an option right here. And once you click on add marker, you can see that there's a marker right here, which you can click and drag out as well. So over here on the marker, you can double click. And here you can see that you can choose the color of the marker according to how you like it right here. And add in a note. Let's say, for example, add in more details and change the angle, um, angle of the shot. So I can go around and add in some details like this and I'm just going to go around and say tutor tube as the marker name right here just like this and press OK. So once I do that you can see the marker color change right here just like this and there you go. So you can click around over here uh, somewhere and you can see the marker right here and as you double click you can see the details of the marker just like this. We can go around over here onto the other side as well and in the uh, storyboard section you can go to um, markers and you can also click on add marker right here. So another marker is added in. You can double click to edit this out according to how you like it. Press OK. And you can go around over here onto storyboard um, again and then add marker according to how you like. You can go around, click on add marker right here. And the benefit of marker is navigation as well. So you can right click over here and then you can go around and then um, see that there's like different things like you can ripple marker, you can delete all marker right here just like this. So let me just go around into storyboard and go to markers and here you can see you can go to next marker right here. Go to storyboard, go to a previous marker and that is how you can actually go around and then navigate through the markers according to how you like it right there as you can see. You can also go around and then click on delete marker to delete out the marker. And if you want to delete out all the markers, you can right click and delete out all the markers as well. And that is how you can add, edit and remove timeline markers inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So if you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.